Good morning. We are from SVS Embedded. The project title name is called uh, Design of ARM Based uh, Embedded Ethernet Interface. So, in this project, we are using an ARM7 LPC2148 and we used one uh, two we used two sensors this, those are called the temperature and the fire sensor so whenever the temperature is high automatically the cooling fan will be on so if there is any fire occurred the alarm will be on if the person want to operate the through uh, ip address they can connect it onto the computer using an ip address called 192.168.0.1.3 and it will be autumn whenever it will be display uh, it will be plugged in uh, pinging uh, it will be display the web page so the person can uh, uh, get the sensors and the appliances when it is appliances on so we used two relay coils so autom uh, whenever it is appliances one then it is it will be on appliances two it will be on okay so coming into the uh, hardware session Hardware session we are using ARM7 LPC2148 SVS uh, embedded development board. So, first we are using a 230 input uh, step down transformer, 9 volts output AC. It is connected to the bridge rectifier and one uh, filter capacitor, 1000 micro forward by 25 volt electrolytic capacitor. And here we used one LM7805 regulator, it's a 5 volts output uh, for the cooling fan and the buzzer. And we used one uh, relay that whenever it is a bridge rectifier, it converts the DC that automatically the 12 volt is connected to the uh, relays. So we used uh, 15 watt bulbs. Uh, first of all, uh, so coming into the LPC, having total 64 pin IC, total four po two port, port zero and port one. Port one consists of 116 to 131 port 0 consist of 0, .0 to 0 0.31 total 48 input output by directional in the alt around 16 remaining 16 uh, this is an isp switch and this is reset switch and uh, here we have a uh, 12 megahertz crystal and here uh, we have an uh, uh, um, pull up resistor and uh, we are using two sensors one is the temperature sensor and another one is the fire sensor so we used two transistors uh, those are operated for the cooling fan and the buzzer so we used enc 28j60 ethernet module where we were communicate with the spa of zero uh, communication we used and whenever we want to dump the program onto the microcontroller using an isp of uart0 via mass 232 whenever we need to press the isp and reset that program should be dumped so first of all when we are on the kit when we on the kit we have to connect the ethernet cable and this is an uh, uh, rj45 jock and it should be connected to the uh, uh, enc 28 jf the uh, rj45 jack and the computer cable i'll show the connection will be established rj45 jack and uh, via lan cable and it was connected to the pc so when i uh, uh, when I logged in in my computer, so I have how to choose uh, uh, settings. So it was uh, given by the um, SVS that is called uh, 192.168. And in that, we have to go for the settings properties. 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 And the TCP IP socket properties. I was given 192.168.1.104 and the subnet mask is 255.255 then it was uh, ok ok it was uh, given by ok so when when it is communicated it is it is giving as a plugin so when I when I entered into the internet explorer internet explorer so it will uh, give us the 192. 192.168.1.103 so it will be show as a uh, that uh, uh, page web page so i want uh, so i need to restart this switch so when i restart this switch so the da data will be displayed on the pc
so it will be display the sensors and the controls when i control that uh, automatically the, the control of that uh, particular one is uh, given so i want to off so i want to take this connection so i want to on so automatically the bulb is on so whenever i want to go for the second one second one i am pressing the on that second one is also on when i press the off that automatically it will be off when i press this one that is automatically off so whenever i want to come back come back it is called as a home home and whenever we are going for the sensors we connected the two sensors one is the temperature another one is the fire alert so if i giving the fire to this one this board so i am using the fire so whenever i am giving the power uh, fire to this board this board so we have to go for the we have to go for the are mai eta gida ga ji idani click chestu unde padda podu ah adhe ji ji pin ne ah adhe adhe place la ha kottu ha whenever i am giving the fire one uh, giving so if i give it uh, press it so if it is fire it will gives the buzzer otherwise if there is no uh, i am going to increase the temperature using one dope stick when i am giving the temperature to the dope uh, temperature sensor automatically the temperature will be rise if it is the temperature above 50 that a fan should be on so we are seeing that show fan should be on if if it is whenever it is in fire uh, giving so whenever fire is occurred it should be on so continuously at the same time go back 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 go back so whenever that uh, control so whenever we want to control that one you know, press the control press the control control that uh, appliances on so we are going for the same uh, units on press on on so that automatically the light should be on so so we can control as well as the monitor through our pc giving an ip address so uh, we uh, so more more number of the sensors can also increase so via we can uh, connect the humidity sensor and we can connect the temperature sensor and also we can uh, connect the uh, 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 exact uh, sprinkling systems so everything we can control as well as we can monitor uh, monitor through our website only okay so if it is less than if it is 32 32 it should be off so control uh, all the uh, we can control more number of appliances also by using this uh, ethernet cable okay, we can add the loops for the more number of units at a time so this is an design of arm based embedded ethernet interface interface so we can go for the more number of sensors and more number of appliances we can do in this project so thanking you if there is any doubts let me know to svs embedded and we used keel software for the programming and flash magic programming keel is the compiler thanking you bye